Combine the power of process builder and flow builder. Learning objectives. After completing this unit, you will be able to describe a business process that can be automated using a process and a flow, define what a flow variable is, build a flow that iterates over a group of records, build a process that starts a flow. When process builder isn't enough. Process Builder isn't designed to address every possible use case, so you may find that it can automate parts of your business process, but not all. For example, Business Process Builder can't post to community feed, submit a related record for approval, delete records, create a bunch of records and associate them with each other, perform complex logic. But there's good news, you don't have to rebuild the whole automation in another tool. Configure the more complex functionality in a flow and then add a flow action to your process. If a flow can do what you need, you or a developer can write Apex to do so. Then add an Apex action to your process. Clone records with children. You've been asked to automatically create renewal opportunities when an opportunity is closed one. The renewal should be a clone of the original opportunity. We can clone records in Process Builder, but we, can al but we also need to clone the products and associate them with the renewal opportunity. In Process Builder, you can grab the ID of the created record and use it elsewhere. Luckily, you can do that in a flow. Just build a flow that clones the opportunity and its products and build a process that calls the flow when an opportunity is closed one. Beyond the basics, in the last unit we talked about flows that guide users through a business process with screens. We call those screen flows. You can also build auto launch flows which run in the background like a process. This main difference is that auto launch flows can have screens which require user interaction. Because they have no screens, you can call auto launch flows from backend things like processes and Apex classes. Build a process. Instead of creating another process, let's build on the one that we created in an earlier unit. Note you can edit an active process. If you have already activated your process, click clone to create a new version of the current process. In the closed one opportunities process, add a criteria node named closed one with this filter condition. Opportunity stage closed one. We can't figure out the condition in the process builder, so let's save and split to flow builder. I think we are kinda supposed to recreate this, so let's open playground. So we are op supposed to open the previous process and then in the close one opportunities process add a criteria node name close one with this field condition.
On the new lead or the quicker con, I think it was. The last one was the new lead, so let's open this one. Should be the quick con one, I think. Looks a bit different. Oh, it's enough process builder, it's not file builder. This one, the closed one, opportunities flow uh, process. Uh, so, yeah, the criteria node, opportunity stage, close one. And configure the action and process builder. So let's save and switch to flow builder. Let's open this separately so we have three windows in total. And apparently we are supposed to create a new flow in the flow builder. Auto launch flow and create. Yeah, building a flow that clones an opportunity, clones opportunity products, associates a clones product with a cloned opportunity. To do all that, the flow needs some data from the process, the original opportunity and its opportunity products. Flow variables come in four types variable, a single value. Collection variables, record variables, record collection variable. So we got the different kind of variables here, but I'm not going to go through all them. You can read it here. To store the opportunity and its opportunity products, we create a record variable and a record collection variable later. When we add the flow as an action in the process, we pass data into these variables, so they must allow inputs. 
So a record variable is a set of field values for a single record rating ID and name. And a collection, a set of field values for multiple records of the same object type. A bit abstract, but I guess we will see what that actually means when we do it. From the manager in toolbox, click new resource and set these values. Data type record. Object opportunity. Available for import selected. So we are creating a new resource here, um, a variable, the API is opportunity, apparently the API is called through that and the opportunity already has an API with that name, I suppose. Now I click done, which I just did. Click new resource, variable, or product original. And record selected. Click done, clone the opportunity. And if those called by the process, the opportunity variable contains fields from the original opportunity. Before we clone that opportunity, let's update some of the fields. That way the renewal opportunity doesn't start off as closed one. Things are getting very advanced with little explanation, but anyway, let's continue here. From the elements in the toolbox, drag the assignment element onto the canvas. Label, update, opportunity fields, stage prospecting. Stage, I don't see here, but for the variable, single variable opportunity stage name.
equals prospecting close day to 90 days from today click add assignment opportunity close dates equals new source and set these values from 90 day state formula leave in that resource blank and enter today plus 90 oh, sorry we are supposed to do that here I suppose like formula of 90 days it's already there so done to create the opportunity drag a create records element onto the canvas and set these values Label clone opportunity record single variables opportunity Click node in the bottom of start and drag it to update opportunity fields. Then from there to create records, I suppose. Yes. Call opportunity. When the opportunity is created, the ID field in the variable opportunity ID is populated with a new records ID. We reference that value later to associate the new products with the renewal opportunity. Okay, that's all very advanced stuff. So let's see what we just did here. You've been asked to automatically create renew opportunities with an opportunity when an opportunity is closed one. The renewal should be a clone of the original opportunities. We can clone records in process builder. We also need to clone the products and associate them with the renewal opportunity. In the process builder you can grab the ID of the created record and use it elsewhere but you can do it in flow. Just build a flow that clones the opportunity and its products and build a process that calls a flow when an opportunity is closed one. So in process builder we already had the like closed one 
we had one for high values in a module before and so what did we do here we just added the opportunity stage closed one process that didn't really do anything for some reason and we didn't make anything advanced here but i guess because we needed to create the um, the flow firstly um to have this variable at the end i suppose and i really need to <laughs> And make a better explanations but I'm trying to my best to make sense of what we just did here and then we created a flow that clones the opportunity clones opportunity products and associate the clone product with the clone opportunity uh, that's what happens uh, in my day-to-day -day work when I close an opportunity apparently this is not built in I'm, I'm not sure or well, this is or well, we are just recreating what happens anyway so the new resource is a variable single value like text like a text string a boolean value like true or a number digit like six okay call the opportunity api apparently the opportunity has an api i don't think i mean you can name the opportunity apis whatever you want if no apis exist a new api will be created so i'm not really sure if it was created or if it already exists like by default in salesforce again very little explanation here data type is record Single record name for an account and the available for inputs selected. So I guess the new resource can be named or something. I'm not really sure. Again, this is lots of like copying steps, but extremely little explanation. So I'm not really happy about this particular module here. And this is like the, the cloning. So for the clone opportunity, then the uh, stage is changed to prospecting, and the close date is set to 90 days from today. So basically, that's changed in the clone. But for me, if I would have to do like come up with these steps like by myself for some similar process i don't think i could come up with it but anyway it's just um yeah for for beginners uh, like us i think interesting to see like how this is done but the explanation is just too little salesforce they definitely need to like revamp these flow and process building modules with some more explanation for such a complicated topic uh, i guess you can do go through like the variables module and stuff like that again but there was also a bit of a lack of uh, explanation but uh, it helps is you can also find it through uh, my my youtube channel just uh, click on, on the channel name uh, Zero to Salesforce Pro and then search for variable. You can also go through that module here that helps a little bit just to um, make sense of this. Like today, uh, this is uh, the variable for today's date. Um, that was also in, in the variable modules, uh, I recall that. And then just uh, plus 90, and then this is uh, it's today's date, 90 days ahead.
And yeah, apparently um, the ID in that variable is then populated with a new records ID. Still sounds a bit abstract, but it kind of sort of makes sense. Also, I would never have come up with this, but I guess you can select it if you go through uh, like the record variable fields, like the ID. So let's continue here. Clone the opportunity products. Now comes the fun part cloning the opportunity products. When the flow is called by the process of products original, variable contains fields from the original opportunity products. Before we clone those products, we need to associate them with the renewal opportunity instead of the original opportunity and set the total price for each product to null. Opportunity products, con uh, opportunity products can have both a unit price and a total price. The only way to update items in a collection is to iterate over the collection with a loop. A loop tells the flow to process each item in the collection one at a time, executing the same logic on each item until the entire collection has been processed. Each opportunity product in our product's original record collection should be associated with the renewal opportunity and the total price is set to null. Each, each time the loop iterates, the loop variable represents an item in the collection. When a loop starts, the first item in the collection variable is copied into the loop variable. After the iteration is over, the loop variable is overwritten with the next item's value and so on until there are no items left in the collection. That's some really abstract, complicated stuff that does not really set in with me in a way that I could understand it in a way to replicate it. But anyway, let's continue here to update an item's field value inside a loop, update the loop variable, then before the iteration for that item finishes, add the loop variable as an item in another collection variable. If you don't do that, the changes are overwritten when the next item is loaded into the loop variable. Of Avoid adding actions like creating or updating records inside the loop. That's a surefire way to hit limits. In the loop we update each item opportunity ID and total price. Then we add the item to a new collection variable after the loop. We use the new collection variable to create the opportunity products. Drag a loop element into the canvas and set these values. So that's in the flow builder, I suppose, or in the process builder. Okay, in the flow builder loop. Iterate over products. For collection variables, select record collection variable or products original. Up there. Let's 
So where is that variable? We need to save it firstly. No. Maybe I did something wrong somewhere. A oh, product on it. Where did I import that? So where did I create it? Variable I create. I can't really change that here. Maybe that was well, that's the issue. I will delete it and recreate it. So new resource variable API name or product we don't know. Data type records. Multiple values collection object opportunity product. And available for import selected done. So it's read our products. Do this again, see if the loop works now. Yes, now there. I guess that was the issue. Practice makes perfect. Loop variable, select new resource. Resource type variable. API name. Data type record. Object, opportunity, product, click done. Select the loop variables, it's already selected, click done, connect clone opportunity to the loop. Set the loop variables opportunity ID to the ID of the new opportunity and the total price to null. Drag the assignment element onto the canvas in the label name and update opportunity product.
So the variables at assignment. Market variables of product loop total applies equals this blank. That means we are really supposed to leave it blank and there's no like value. There's no value that needs to be entered there. Click done. Connect the loop to update opportunity product. The select loop connector windows appears. Which item in the select collection? Click done. Add the updated loop variable to a new record of collection variable. Drag another assignment element onto the canvas. A label, name it adds to new collection. Select new resource. Source time variable, API name, approach new. So I was a bit lost there for a second. Data type record, opportunity product selected.
Run multiple values. Nice. So the variable of product new creates a record for the uh, the record is an opportunity product. Apparently. Okay, our products loop. Record single variables of products loop. Click on. Connect update opportunity products. Okay, we're already supposed to stick on, but for operator ads. Okay, the assignment we created the new resource for operators like that. Oh, okay, that's what the minus operator at value. Product up. Hold it down. It's really lacking explanation here, but yeah, uh, kind of sort of made sense of this. But it's all quite intricate stuff that's just copied with too little explanation, in my opinion. But I don't want to wind around here further, so let's continue. Connect opportunity product to add to a new collection. Then connect add to new collection to the loop. So we have this loop here that updates the product and adds a new collection and this is for each item. Did we add it somewhere here that it's for each item or is it just a... Um, Mm, nope. So this is just uh, an explanation. Oh, 
Oh, what's happening here? So this loop is like for each item until there's no item left to update. Complicated stuff. Okay, to clone the opportunity products, drag a create record element onto the canvas, set these values. Um, products, multiple. Record collection variables or products new. And select done. Um, connect the loop to clone products. It says after last item, but here there's no such thing. Not really sure why. Finish the flow. Here it says for each item, but here it doesn't say after last item. You are nearly done to finish the flow, save and activate it. Click save, save the flow, name it renew opportunity. To be sure, type is set to auto launch flow and save. Here it kind of bothers me that it doesn't say after last item. Oh, I see. Maybe we should like redo the connection from here to there. How can I delete this? No idea. So that was the, the problem that I connected it the wrong way and now I don't know like <laughs> how to undo this. How to undo this. Oh, 
Okay, so the delete solved it. So now it, it really looks like it should. So you just need to select this and hit the delete key and that will work. Not explained anywhere, but now we are a bit smarter. So let's save this. Activate the flow so that you can reference it in Process Builder. Finish the process. Now that you have finished building the flow, make sure that the process starts the flow when an opportunity is closed one. Remember those variables that we created at the beginning of the flow. In the process, we use them to pass values from the opportunity record and its children into the flow. Open the closed one opportunities process in the closed one criteria group, add an immediate action where the type is flows and the name is create renewal. Right, flows. No, it's trying to find flows. Under flow variables, add two rows, set these values, and then click save. Opportunity field reference, select the opportunity group. Our product original Trinity line items. And then we save it, I guess. For the closed one criteria group, click stop. Select evaluate next criteria and then click save.
I'm not really sure. Okay, we are supposed to drag this up here and... Then this will probably work. Yes, that was the issue. Start using the process activated. So we can now give it a shot in the sales. App. and see if this actually worked I'm not really sure if it would automatically create an opportunity but I think I closed an opportunity has closed one before and um, nothing really happened The random opportunity closed. Okay, that was a problem. Source type variable data type record allow multiple values selected. Check opportunity product available for inputs selected. I think there was something where we left something empty. And the update opportunity product. Let's look again how this should actually look. So assignment, use a bit more like a neat, create record, create record loop. Assignment. Each item. Add to new collection. And then create record. After last item. 
Looks alright to me. Update opportunity product total price maybe that was the issue input parameter Yeah, I'm just going to stop this and Google this. So I quickly found other people that have the same issue and apparently it's caused by a lack of line items, meaning there are no products here. And let's see how... Well, there's, there's someone that fixed this. But um, I don't think, at least in my line of work, uh, I never close um, opportunities. That have no products. So let's just add a product here. But it's uh, interesting to figure that out if you have that issue like in a real life application but it shouldn't really happen because why would you set an opportunity to close like in a real life situation that has no products doesn't really make any sense so let's see if this was actually clone and a new one was created So indeed it was set to prospecting 90 days from now. Yes, that checks out. So it works. Now the amount is kinda weird. Guess it's a default amount or whatever. Not really sure. Oh yes, at the at the product at the product amount. Oh yeah, that worked fine. So let's just uh, go through the quiz here. Uh, if you want to use this open as an opportunity to figure out like how to resolve this area or to add an error message that makes more sense to an end user, you can do that. But for me personally, I don't see uh, this necessary, especially as I, if someone told me like to replicate this. Um, even with googling and stuff, I think I would probably like take a week or something to replicate this and even then I would probably <laughs> like fail so I just uh, see this as kind of an interesting display like what's possible to do with the uh, process builder and flow builder but to replicate this um, I don't think I would be ready and if I was forced to do so I would really need to do this and there was no way around it I would probably take a week of like googling stuff and trying to replicate all of this so I see this more as like an example to see what's possible. So let's continue with the quiz here. A record variable can store a set of field values in a single record, a set of field values or multiple records. 
I said I feel very for multi breakers that have multiple object types A and B. I will really need to like look this up. Because I have no idea. A set of field values for a single record. So it's a which use case that is appropriate to combine a process and flow. Post to an internal chatter group, count a record item and its children, delete a related record, combine a process. Clone a uh, record and its children, delete a related. Delete records, post to community. Yeah, I guess with, with children um, would be B and C. So I would go for this. Bit tricky, but I would go for this. Maybe just C, but I think the whole process, like cloning records with the children, that's what we basically did, so I would say B and C. Uh, inside a loop you should avoid executing actions like creating or updating records, assigning new values to variables, display data to the user, nesting another loop, I think nesting another loop, avoid adding actions. Executing actions. Okay, we got this. Thank you so much for watching this Lenchy module. I hope it was uh, helpful. To me it was a bit overwhelming, but um, it was an interesting example. If you like this video, hit the like button. If you want to see more videos, hit the subscribe button. And if you have any feedback, whether positive or negative, just type it in the comment box below. Thank you so much for watching again, and I hope you have a great day.